Back on holiday again. Another one. This time I'm in Keswick. More precisely, outside the Twa Twa Dogs Inn. Is it Twa Dogs or Twa Dogs? I'm not too sure. Um, but as you can see, I'm in the nice cold pint of Stella. Just walked from the campsite, so it was about three and a half mile. No, oh, sorry, nearly four mile. So I'm going to enjoy this pint and I might have another one. Oh, it's delicious, that. Fantastic. Got the dog here. Complete with tote and blanket, as you look lying on the floor. He's just going to get his dog treat now. Didn't enjoy his treat. So I've got another pint. Pint of Bunratty. Oh, it's nice because um, it was, I couldn't believe it because it was a quid more than a pint of stuff. Weird, isn't it? We're looking up there to that rig. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. And we're on the main road into Keswick, as you probably already know, outside the Twa Dogs Inn. Well, you might want to pause this bit here and have a look at the history of this tunnel. What are these doing? This is the tunnel at the, the Bobbin Mill Tunnel. New open in 2020. So it's only been open. Three years. So no doubt you know by now, but I told you before in the video, I'm on the Keswick to maybe Penrith line. Disuse, obviously. Um, I'm on holiday for a weekend. After the couple of big trips I've had, which I want to thank Linda very much for letting us go on them. Um, I've done quite a few miles in the past couple of weeks and I've enjoyed it. Had its, had its hard parts, had its sort of, you know, the dark, a couple of little dark scenarios, you know, little bits where you are, won't question your sanity, but you know, they were, they were only a, a, a small fraction of what the overall enjoyment was. But uh, this week, Lena's off this week obviously, and you might be saying where's Lena? Well, Lena's got a broken leg so she fancied a nice relaxing day in the caravan with you. So that's what she's got. Uh, obviously the dog's got to go on for a walk, he's on his holidays. Oh, she's on a pee there. Right on cue. So, I've had him walk along to Keswick. We went to the pub. Nice couple of pints. The sun was shining. I could have stopped there. <laughs> if then I could have drove, I would have stopped there for another few pints and got her to come pick us up, but she can't drive. Not right, angle, the way it is. So, it's nice. Nice to be having a, just a few mile without the big heavy rucksack on. Um, in, a, in the relatively cooler weather as well. So it's going to be a relaxing week this week. I'm back to work. Uh, <laughs> I think I still have to fit another week in. I still have another week's holidays. My, my oh my. Well, no, I think I'll save them until next year. I'll carry them forward. I can't have any more time off this year. I'll be, uh, I'll have been off more than I've been in. They were looking up there. Uh, would that be Jenkin Hill maybe, or Lawn Scale Fell? Could be Lawn Scale maybe. I, I, I got mixed up. But anyway, it's on the way up to Skiddo. We're heading this way. Back to Wards Throttle Killed, or Threckled, as I always call it. And I'm not ready for a sit down. Maybe it's a siesta. I might have a trip to the pub tonight for tea, I'm not too sure. Let's see how I feel. Isn't this little fact? That bridge there, which looks like a little mini Tyne Bridge, was actually made by Dorman and Long, who built the Tyne Bridge. Had it stamped on the girders. I wonder if it's the same age. 
let's do a bit of research and find out. But it's a beautiful path. If you are seeing through Keld um, and you fancy a day out, I recommend a walk along here to Keswick. Uh, even a walk there and back. It's about an eight mile round trip from Settlement Band campsite to Keswick. Probably Keswick Central. Uh, or you could get the bus there, walk back. Or walk there and bus back. I think I said that the right way around. Not too sure. <laughs> We're heading this way though, still again. Not a couple of mile. Mile and a half maybe, mile and three quarters. But it's cool as well, you're in the trees. And you can imagine being in a tree any years ago. What a scenic little route this would have been. Beautiful. Of course, the, the legacy of the beach and cuts and closing all the railways down because we're left with all these wonderful sort of walkways, cycleways and Or it'd be nice for them still to be here, possibly. The roads may have been quieter. Who knows? Oh, look around there. There's a lot of shel shelter here. There's a bit of an information board telling you about the railway. Suppose if you were doing the cycling the coast to coast, yeah, I think you wouldn't have done many miles to get here, would you really? Well, 30 miles from the start, you wouldn't be looking for somewhere to pitch up this early on, I wouldn't imagine. A yeah, little shelter and a bench, and then there you've got a information on it. So, if you want to have a look at that. Pause it on the video, take a slow scroll down, uh, there's another one here, oh. there we go, could be interest to some people, there's the engineer, the feet of engineer, let's see what's in the back of this one. The last train. There we go. It's a bit of an odd occurrence. We've got a shortly after that shelter, I've got to get cutting. Maybe I've had to cut through rock. And the dog went crazy. I walked through here on the way there, and he's just done the same again. Like, like jumping and like tugging at the lead as though he didn't want to be in there. I don't know if there's some kind of Some kind of weirdness going on. I don't know. <laughs> we stood it there and he's on the way back as well. Nice views there, Blencathra. And here the RF jets roaring in the background. Not far to go now, but almost three quarters of a mile. Little pl place of the bridge. Nice, yeah. Oh, noisy. Jets are noisy. Better views now on the way back. A bit cloudy before, you can see the top there now. You might be asking why I'm not up there walking on the on the fells. Like I said, I'm having a rest. I deserve a rest. Here we are. Set my van. Campsite. Can't wait to sit down. Dog will be hungry and thirsty.
Hello, Linda. <laughs> Bracken. Bracken. Say hello. Say hello, Linda. Bracken. Bracken. Say hello. This is not a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many of their dogs, isn't there? And the carriages, are, the, the seats are connected underneath, so you can see the dogs when he lies down. So he's yeah, yeah. he's got a right panic on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but it looks a lovely place, man. Really nice. Look at that. That's looking back over. Lovely dear. Sun shining. Oh, aye. Yeah. And there's the big Jim Weir pointer.
this one is going back at ten past three, and the last one is ten past four. It depends which one you're you're, you're booked. Yeah. So it's downstairs in the cafe. Lovely. Thank okay, you. Okay. Enjoy. That is Carter. That's Carter over there. Yeah, that's Carter fell over there. All right. Lovely. Thank you. That's the end of the lane. But again, this is back to Raven's Glass Station on the Raven's Glass Nest Steel Railway. Been a good day out. Really enjoyed it. I don't think it was quite as good as it was. <laughs> the dog enjoyed it eventually. I didn't enjoy it. Been a good activity for somebody with a broken leg because I didn't have to walk anywhere. I think the trains want to come this way. Ah, there's the rain on, folks. Here's the train come past. The one last look at the train. The STL Explorer. There we go. Little mini steam train. Real tr steam train, though. Right, let's go and find a pub for something to eat. Catch us later.